my name is Kristen Elkins, and today I will be presenting research that I've done on, on designing for straightforward theater. The show I designed here at UVO was called The Wolves. Um, it is by Sarah Delap, and it is about um, the soccer team um, following six Saturday mornings as they get ready for their games. Um, we see them discuss a variety of topics and how they deal with love, loss, and identity. Um, it's a very sweet story, and I couldn't have been better with how everything turned out. So these are some of my concepts for the show. I knew nothing about soccer whatsoever. I have never played a sport a day in my life, so it was a lot of fun um, leading into this and figuring out what worked, figuring out what belonged where. For team colors, I knew I wanted purple. Purple is my favorite color. It was just a matter of deciding how to break up that all of that purple and not just have them kind of walking around like Grimace from McDonald's. Um, it was a lot of fun playing around with shoes as well. I think that really helped. And for team logo, everyone's got to have one. Um, I messed around with collage and compiled a a variety of different logo designs. Um, I took inspiration from different soccer teams that existed um, and kind of noted what was used commonly and what worked. This is the basic layout of the uniform. Um, everyone has shin guards, everyone has shorts and socks. Um, for the goalie, she wears something different from the rest of the team because um, she plays a different position. So she is wearing long sleeves while the rest of the team is wearing purple and short sleeves. And for each of these individual characters, I wanted to make sure they were distinguishable. Um, because the uniforms were very simplistic um, and the show revolved around a soccer team, there wasn't a lot of allowance for different personality or different character designs. Um, so I really wanted to make sure I honed in on details like hair um, and shoes, of course, and kind of different accessories where they were allowed because in soccer, you aren't allowed to wear accessories. You aren't allowed to wear jewelry um, or any kind of wrist accessory or necklace. Um, which I did make a few exceptions for here and there for character purposes. Um, but I really wanted to make sure I got these characters right because I have found out that in every soccer team, these characters exist. Um, call it stereotype, but I've found through speaking to multiple people, I've talked to roommates, I've talked to friends, I've talked to, um, I've consulted different internet resources, um, but each of these characters do exist on a team. And I wanted to make sure that I got those details right with how they wear their hair. I found that was a really, really important role in designing uh, for the show is hair. Um, so for number 11, she is very bossy. She's a politically correct girl. She's very smart, very headstrong. Um, and so she would be wearing a tight high ponytail and a very thick headband. Um, and then for shoes, I made sure to consult different web sources about what shoes would work best with different positions. So just to briefly go over that, um, I did match up different, different shoe types, different shoe cuts. And number 25 is our captain of the team. She is the star. She's the fifth of the team. And I found that um, she would have the pretty sex style. Um, she has some two fresh braids. She would have kind of small wispies going in front. Um, she's also going to have the nicest things because she is the coach's daughter. So she would have the fanciest looking shoe um, and then the nice style. And then towards the end of the show, she chops all of her hair off. And so, which worked really well because the actress already had really short hair. Um, so we threw a wig on her. And then for the end ending of the show, um, it's her hairstyle off of 
these actual soccer players. Number 13 has a kind of low and messy, unkempt bun. Um, in the in the script, her brother is described as being a, a weed dealer. So she kind of has that lazy, laid back personality. Um, I also wanted to mention that I took into consideration the actress's actual hair. Um, I didn't want any big changes to be made. I wanted the actress to be very comfortable and um, not cause a lot of mayhem or stress in their lives. So I looked for inspiration photos that contained the actress's hairstyles um, and their hair textures, how they naturally are, uh, just so there wouldn't be any really big changes um, and to allow them to be as comfortable as possible. Number 46, she is the new girl on the team. Um, she's a little bit awkward, kind of socially awkward. Um, I thought it was really interesting. And she kind of has a straightforward hairstyle just so it's out of the way. Very simple, something she can do really fast. And number two, our actors have really short curly hair. So to kind of maintain that, we went with um, two kind of French braids. And her character is described as being very clumsy and prone to accidents. So throughout the show, she gets new headgear, um, which I chose very carefully. And number seven is the mean girl of the team. Um, she is very headstrong, very bossy. She's really coming into who she is uh, throughout the show. So she has this kind of high top, messy bun, kind of just thrown together. She doesn't really care. She's really cool. Um, she's also going to have the thickest makeup because she's just cool like that. And I wanted her to be kind of edgy. Um, we ended up not doing any kind of colored highlights just for uh, the sake of keeping it simple. Um, but I think through her makeup, it helped a lot with uh, establishing her character. And for number 14, um, she's going to have a cooler hairstyle. She is number seven's uh, best friend. Um, she kind of follows whatever she says. Uh, so I wanted her to be a little bit edgy too, but not as quite. Um, her actress ended up having shorter hair, so we kind of changed that last minute. Um, and she also had a nose piercing, which you're not allowed to have nose piercings in soccer, but I thought it worked just for the sake of um, establishing that character because she is edgy too. Um, not quite as edgy as Seven with the makeup, but she is her own person. Number eight is our kind of awkward, weird girl. Um, she's really goofy, really silly. Um, her actress had really long hair, so this worked with a Dutch braid, two Dutch braids down the side. Um, I also had her wear a purple barrette, which you're not also allowed to wear in soccer, but for the sake of the character, I thought it fit really well with the kind of awkward elements. Um, she was very cute, very kind of um, energetic. And then Double Zero has the French braid um, out of her face. She's very serious. Um, and so something very simple like that was said a lot about her character, I think. Um, and she also has her goalie gloves, which match the colors that tied in really well. For warm-up clothing, um, I didn't know if I wanted them to have matching or not, um, but in a scene, they are coming in wearing warm-up clothes. So this is an example of that. And then soccer mom bows was something that was brought up to me later. Um, in soccer, the moms will sometimes bring in these giant bows for the girls to wear, and they call them soccer mom bows. I thought it was a really sweet element that I wanted to add. And then for the soccer mom, um, her character ends up grieving in the end when she comes in. And even though she's falling apart on the outside, I wanted her to be very put together. Um, Though she's falling apart in the inside, I wanted her to be put together on the outside. Um, kind of like my mom. Um, she can be having the worst day ever. Things are not going her way, but at least she is wearing a good outfit. She's put together. She has all of her clothes on. She's stylish. To so take that little bit of control back into her life. Then moving on to the final costumes really quickly. 
Um, team colors are the same. This is the official team logo that I decided with. And then the uniforms are a little bit more laid out just so I had everyone kind of checked. Um, so this is number 11. Number 25 has her captain band, a little bit sleeker shoe. Um, and then 13, 46, brought uh, shoes from home that I really liked. Number two, number seven, ends up in crutches later on in the show. Um, so I wanted her to be kind of more team spirity um, while also not being in uniform. So I have her in Uggs and a little sweatshirt with the wolf's decal on it. Number 14, number eight, and double zero. For warm-up clothing, I did decide on having all of them in matching track suits. Um, each of them have different bottoms. Um, so the captain has the typical uh, soccer Adidas joggers, while everyone has kind of differing ones. Um, but all of these jackets have the Wolves logo on the back. Um, they look really sweet in them. And for soccer mom bows, I went with the purple. And then soccer moms say the same. All of my research and um, all of my concepts that I've done, I really wanted to hone in on the details um, just because a show is set in a soccer field where all the girls wear uniforms, the exact same uniform. I wanted to show that despite that, um, there's still ways to really make these characters their own individuals um, and really highlight each of their personalities through different accessories or different hairstyles. Um, and I think that's really important to note going into different shows that even the small things can make a huge difference, uh, especially when everyone is wearing the same thing. Um, thank you so much.